everybody, what is up? Welcome to another Cook, Cook with, with me. me. And me. And Danny. Danny's behind the camera, just cheered me on. He's back there, he's like the cook, chef, cheerleader. I'm here to interrupt her, guys. Yeah, basically. Yes. Which that's okay with me. So you guys, today we are gonna be making something super fun, super easy, and delicious. So we are making beef empanadas. Ooh, empanadas, you guys. Which, you guys, I'm just gonna come out and say it. This is not an authentic way of making empanadas. This is more like just easy go to like a good starting point i guess for an well, actual how, it's how not you, authentic how do you define authentic i mean this well, is well i mean it's gotta be like from, homemade it's gotta be this like this is homemade this is not homemade oh. <laughs> okay it's authentic I mean, it's made from the heart always and forever but it is not homemade like i'm not making the crust and all that from scratch it's everything but the pie everything but the pie crust authentic i guess yes. yeah 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 so anyways this i just saw this recipe i'm like this is good for a good quick empanada recipe and uh, we're gonna try it out and see how we like it you guys never made it and we'll let you know how it is we will link the recipe down below but what you're gonna need for this is pie crusts so I just grabbed the Pillsbury pie crust. I've got two boxes just in case. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. And then uh, green pepper, which I already have somewhat cut up. An onion, cumin, chili powder, salt, pepper, and minced garlic, and a pound of ground beef, which I have in the microwave right now. So that's basically it for this recipe, which is super easy. Wow. And I love that. Okay, and one more thing, cheese. Ooh. It asks for Mexican blended, but we don't really have that, so we're just gonna use the sharp cheddar cheese. I think it's gonna be just as good. So, anyways, we're gonna chop up, we're gonna start by chopping up all the stuff and then move on to browning the meat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to browning the meat, okay? And then you guys, we're gonna be chopping with this Pampered Chef chopper, oh, if you guys, you guys are interested. Oh, you guys if you guys have been watching us for years and years and years, because that is how long I have had this, literally before Emerlyn was born. That's how long I've wow, had this chopper. Wow, it's like 12 years. Yeah, this has years, been 10 years, oh, 10 years, something like that. I love it. I probably should get a new one here soon because it is well loved, but it still works great. But if you guys are interested, we will link this down below in the description, but also, if you don't want to pay the price of the Pampered Chef, we will also link one that's similar to it, that's on Amazon, and I think they work similarly. So we'll link both. You guys choose which one you want, but like I said, this one has lasted us years and years and years. I've never used the other one, but the reviews are good, so. And then in the comments, let us know if you actually get one, comment. Lifesaver. I got my chopper, hashtag I got my chopper. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. So we're gonna be using this tonight. I'm gonna first cut up the bell peppers. Ooh, I love bell peppers as like added flavor. Oh, me too. It's so good. Especially like when it's in the meat. Now I'm gonna say though, like this is not something I liked as a kid. Did you like bell peppers when you were a kid? Um, you know what, I did. You did? Because okay. my mom, and I wanna make this in a cook with me, it's so simple. My mom would always get steak strips. Okay. Ooh. White rice. Ooh. And green bell peppers. Ooh. And she would make make it in like a walk. That's flavorful. And you guys, it was so delicious. So that's how I remember green peppers. You guys, Danny's mom is the best at pulling flavors all together. She is like, and she doesn't use a recipe. I feel like she flings yeah. everything together and it's just like comes out and I'm like, that is so good. It's so good, you so guys. So good. So basically all I do, you guys, to use the chopper is I chop these up into kind of bigger chunks, as you can see. And then I put it all underneath the chopper. Oh no, now she's Then you picturing. imagine somebody's face who made you really <laughs> mad that day. And then you just chop, 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 chop. Oh, And then wow. you turn and get a different kind of chop. Chop, 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 chop. chop. And then, voila, all chopped up. So I continue doing that until they're all chopped up and we can add it in. And these smell so good. All chopped up, don't know what to do. Onion. Didn't someone say like if you like stare at the cabinet or like no <laughs> stare at the cabinet <laughs> if you cut it near running water? Oh, where did I come up with that? I have no idea. That's wow. what I should be doing right now. I'm just not. Oh, don't cry, baby. Don't <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Wow. Getting them chopped up, guys. Almost there. Oh, Comment down below if you know do dogs since their sense of smell is more keen. Do they? Get watery eyed? I wonder. Benny, are you crying? Don't cry. Don't cry, Benny. Ooh, 
Now it already smells like onions and bell peppers, you guys. That's some good flavor right that there. That is good flavor, yeah. All right, so we got the meat cooking up. We are gonna add the bell peppers and the onion in here. Oh, wow. Come on, guys, come on. You know, my grandmother, Nana, she used to always make empanadas. That was like her thing. And she would do it literally from scratch. I like, know, see, that's no what I No pie crust, do. like she would do it literally from scratch. And um, she ended up like, not doing it as much because she had arthritis and was just getting older. But she would always add, um, she would do a couple different ones. My favorite were the ones with beef and green olives. Ooh. Yeah, really good. I Never love had that. Yes. And then she would also do some with raisins, but I wasn't really too fond of raisins. Um, but the green olives were my favorite. I guess like empanadas, you can probably get as creative as you want, right? Oh, yeah. Like you can do. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. What have you guys done in your empanadas? Or Ooh. what kind have you had? Let's do a chorizo empanada. Ooh, oh. that would probably be good. So good. So this is gonna cook up with you guys. If you're looking for a chopper, another lifesaver. We'll link this too. Yeah, we're gonna try to link as many of the kitchen utensils that we use in the description below. A lot of you guys are like, oh, where'd you get those? Oh, we want a meat masher. Yeah. And that's not a chopper, that's a meat masher. No, so we will try to make it easy for you guys and just link it all in the in the description. Check out this, uh, what's this one called? The sprainer. This is called, this is called it's a uh, sprainer. burnt sprainer. Yes. But you know what, it's funny when I use this because so many people are like, Tina, mine looks exactly like yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's all burnt. I'm like, that just means we're working, you That's know? That's awesome. So, ooh. Ooh, this smells so good. Already, and we haven't even added the spices to this, so. Oh, guys, you are the spice. I am the life. spice, that's right! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we keep it spicy in here, okay? <laughs> so, you guys, this is gonna be all the filling that's gonna go inside those pie crusts, so. This is gonna be yum. up you guys all browned up so now you guys we're just gonna add so the salt and pepper is kind of just to taste so I'm just gonna sprinkle it on you guys know how Tina is though she likes to salt the salt I do but I kept it easy this time I kept it easy and then basically everything else is a teaspoon so you so that was the, salt and pepper that was salt and pepper and then we got a teaspoon of the cumin which we'll sprinkle in here mm. and then we're gonna do a teaspoon of the chili powder Mmm, that's smelling delicious! Is that like taco chili? Like, what is that? This is chili powder. That's just what it's called? Yeah, just chili powder. So we're gonna do a teaspoon of that. Wow. And then a teaspoon of a minced garlic. Lazy garlic, as we call it. We don't need to go overboard on that either, because garlic doesn't set settle well no, with No, it doesn't with him. So we're gonna just do a teaspoon, and I think it'll be totally fine. And then... Just gonna mix that all up. Oh, my mamacita. Borzatina. Wow. That's looking good, guys. And this is Smell just gonna good. basically fill the pie crust. Yep. And Tina will shape the empanadas Ooh. and we will eat away. You smell that? It's so good. I wish we had smell a vision, guys. Wow. Holy moly. It smells delish. Okay, so the meat is all done. Now we got the crust. Which, you guys, one of these boxes comes with two pie crusts, which I did not realize, so that's Ooh, awesome. Sweet. Um, so basically, you're gonna take the crust out, woo! And then you're gonna roll it out, and it says to get a bowl that is like the size of a cereal bowl. So we're gonna try that and see if that, if we think it's too big or not, but you can make them smaller if you want. You can make them probably any size you want, really. I remember when my grandmother would make them, I would literally, no joke, eat like eight to 10. She would just make so many, and then I would just <laughs> they're like bite on them, just so good. So how like how big were hers? Would you say like like fist size? size? Yeah, size of fist. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe even smaller. See, the thing I don't know about this because it says to roll it out, so we got our rolling pin. I don't know how thin I'm supposed to roll this. Probably not too not too, too thin. thin. No, you want it to kind of bake up. Yeah. But you want it to roll out because really, how many are we gonna get out of this? with that big bowl. No. Probably not too much, huh? I think in the recipe, actually, she says she gets three out of it. Okay. Yeah, because you're going to take it out, and then you're going to roll it again. 
Yeah, so she says she can get about three per crust. Okay. So that's like one, two. I that makes sense. That, that looks like a good size. Yeah, that's okay. So let's try that. I don't know, guys. We're just winging it here, okay? Here we go. So basically, you just do that. Oh, it's so pretty. That's awesome. Hey, that's actually a good size because remember, it's yes. going to fold. So. Oh, I'm excited. You know, fold. <laughs> Boom, you guys got them all cut out. All cut out, which I'm gonna say you guys, you're gonna probably wanna get two boxes of these because this made seven total and that's not enough for our family. So we are gonna make a whole nother box after this as well, but we're gonna do these ones first. And then, so all you're gonna do from here is you're going to add the meat and you wanna put it in the middle, they said. So Set about what, two to three tablespoons or? Yeah, just kind of eye it though. So we're gonna find we're gonna find out how much that will make for us. Yes. So then you're gonna put the cheese on there as well. Oh wow. And then basically you're gonna just fold this bad boy over. Okay. You've done this before. Oh, you know it. Oh, you have. I actually haven't, but then you're gonna take your fork. What? <laughs> you think you're getting all artsy on it? Artsy fartsy right here, baby. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Boom. That's what it says to do. Take the fork, seal it up. Wow. Bam. Fam bam, baby. Oh, wow. That looks so good. That looks so good. So As now, I pan up to you, that looks so good. Whatever. <laughs> okay, then we got to get it off this thing. Um, we're learning, guys. And then you're going to take it and you're going to put it on your parchment paper. And then bam. And then we're gonna give, we're gonna mix up um, some eggs. Yeah, right? you have to do an egg wash on top. So I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning, you will need eggs for this because after they're all laid out, we're gonna just whoop, whoop, whoop with the egg and then it'll be ready to go in the oven. Ooh. We got them all here on the pan. And I'm gonna just say, <laughs> those look so stupid. <laughs> but. No, they're fine, you guys. They're fine, but I'm gonna say, don't use the fork. To me, no. the fork was just a pain. Like it kept sticking to the thing and it's like, I just, it, this it's is so how much easier to I remember your seeing it, growing up, seeing it made is with your fingers. Yeah, so these aren't the prettiest, you guys, so don't judge me. Still learning the technique, you know? So we're gonna do these ones, put these ones in the oven. Actually, we've gotta egg wash them, and then um, we'll put these in the ovens, and then I gotta work on the second batch, but we'll see how they turn out. Okay, got these all egg washed. So we are gonna put these in the oven at 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes. Just till they're like golden brown on top. Boom, you guys. Boom, all right. So these are out of the oven, still ready and hot, you guys. But I'm gonna just say, I respect anyone. Those are good. They are just okay, you guys. I honestly got the prettiest ones off these pans. If you can see over there, they're like, some of them cracked like at the top, you can see on this one. So they're definitely not perfect and it but it makes me respect like the actual process because it's not as easy as you would think it would be i'm like oh this is gonna be the easiest recipe i'm got we're gonna totally it's actually not that easy you've got to have like the dough or the pie crust like the perfect thickness i think so because i think that that batch over there i must have like rolled it out a little too thin and then it started cracking at the top which i'm like this is still gonna probably taste delicious i just have to master down like the look of it and you guys good. and you guys we have literally about 12 to 14 and there's still look at more, all this meat left yeah guys. there's literally one pound of ground beef yeah so this will be good for an extra little tacos or something like that but yeah it made quite a bit i feel like all right ultimate taste test let's oh, go try okay. that out i gotta find one that's not like too hot right now i think oh hot mm. good that's good. Really? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I want to try one. That is really good. You're going to like that this part is like a little crispy. Ooh, really? Mm-hmm. That's good, you guys. And you can put it with like, I'm going to probably dip it in sour cream, salsa, <clears throat> salsa, any kind of side that you want. Rice. Mm. No, I'm talking more dip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it would be good with Mexican rice too. Okay, Danny, you're up. All right, Danny's going in. Let's see it, boy. It Ooh, might, these are hot. Yeah, there's Ooh. there's a, like a couple on there that were in the cooler cooler section. I think that one might be a little cooler. They come out hot Ooh. and ready, guys. Yeah, they do. Mm. 
Mmm. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. The pie crust reminds me of a chicken pot pie. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. That is kind of how it is. So I do think, like, if you're looking for authentic, probably not the way to go. Different. It's, it's still just good. different. Like, it's really good. Yeah. But it's like, you get that. Well, even in the, the picture of the Pillsbury pie crust, it shows like a pot pie. So yeah. that's why when it's crisp like that. Yeah, it does. You're right. That is exactly what it tastes like. But mm. it's still really good. But if you're mm. expecting like it to taste like an authentic epanada, then it's not going to probably do it for you. But it's... This is really good though. It's good. It's yummy. I just got to get the look of it down. I think the taste mm. is delicious. But... It does remind me of my grandmother's empanadas. Does it? Mm-hmm. A little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below, you guys, if you think I should try like a traditional empanada. Let us know like a dough recipe. Yeah. Like for the empanada. Yeah. What you guys use or if you guys cook it up, let us know. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So that is it. We will leave everything down in the description box so that you can try these for yourself. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget... Choose your day!